What's up? This is Sean McVay, Sean's Outdoor Adventures. We are on a wilderness hunting trip in southern Iowa. I am joined today by Andrew, with it. I'm with Andrew Penzi from Vital Woo! Point. Check out his channel, Vital Point. That's Vital Point. Check out Vital Point. And I'm um, just curious, I wanted to touch base with Andrew. He's been shooting the Dragon X8 by Sanlita. So, um, Andrew, I wanted to get some feedback from you. Uh, what was it like for you to get this bow tuned up to shoot? Are you shooting fixed broad? fixed blade broadheads with it. Yes, I am. Okay, um, so what was the uh, tuning process like? Just give us a rundown. Yeah, so I just wanted to tune it up quickly. I didn't have a lot of time uh, before coming to Iowa. I didn't want to make sure I was zoned in. And it was actually the best tuning experience I gotta say that I've had. Really? Uh, fortunately, I didn't have to mess with the cams too much. I just, I was able to adjust it mostly by moving around my uh, knocking point and the, the rest. But uh, I actually got this bow tuned up with and shooting bullets within a half an hour, which okay. is a record for me. What's you, it you, normally you, take? Like all day. All day. <laughs> yeah. All day process. <laughs> yes. So I was kind of shocked at how smoothly okay. that went. And the thing was uh, firing bullets. So I was pretty psyched. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so those are, these are all the stock components it looks like on yeah. there. And yeah, no complaints about anything here. Uh, but I, I love this camo, got to say, uh, and the uh, thing works great. Okay, yeah. and, and did you get a quiver for it? Uh, I do. Um, I have the, um, I, I don't know. Just a clip-on quiver. clip-on yeah. quiver, yeah. Nice. Um, but you don't have to get it. Yeah. Just curious, because it looked like a quiver mount there, so good. I mean, it, uh, I don't know. if I was going to replace anything, I'd probably yeah. upgrade the um, drop away to, to a drop, a drop away, away rest. Rest, yeah. yeah. Because I do find like after a while, I use a helical fletching, mm. and after a while, uh, it the starts like kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. It bends up the fletching after a bit. Okay. So nice. To, that would know. be the only. Yeah, I think for upgrade. me, uh, you know what? Maybe what I'll do at the end of this is is uh, I'll show a little clip of my Dragon X8. One of the things I did on mine is um, the stabilizer. Um, the, it comes with this this little stabilizer here. I like to hunt with my quiver on the bow, so I actually like an offsetting weight on the, the mm -hmm. side here. So I put a, just a side stabilizer on it to balance the bow out pretty nicely. So I'll show you a little clip of that here as we get to the end. But um, I'll put a link. If anyone's interested in a Dragon X8 compound bow, I will provide a link for one of those in the description section. Also, I will put a link for Andrew Penzi's YouTube channel, Vital Point. Make sure you check out his content. Some awesome, awesome videos. Always aim for that Vital Point. Always aim for the Vital Point. And tomorrow is the final day of the Wilderness Iowa Rut Hunt. So yes. you will have to check out his channel to see what went down on his Iowa Rut Hunt. And we look forward to checking that out, Andrew. All right, folks, back at the home office here. And I want to close out this video just showing you what I did with my Sanlita X8, Dragon X8 Pro package. So it comes with the quiver, the arrows, and all the other accessories, which I've shown you in a different video. But um, sight and rest and everything are the same, but I did put a back-facing sidebar stabilizer on here. I have a quick-release attachment um, for a front-facing stabilizer, and I'm not sure where I put the front-facing stabilizer. I've just been looking around. <laughs> I'm not sure what I did, but I've actually been shooting it without the front-facing stabilizer because the um, sidebar by itself balances the bow out very well with the quiver on there. Let me um, let me grab an arrow and I will take a shot real quick for you. Uh, I should have an arrow laying around here. These all have broadheads on them, so let me just look here for an arrow. So I mean, you know, sometimes I get questions from people like hey you know what should I upgrade first you know they different things um the site works just fine for me it also has the sight light in there so if I'm hunting in a ground blind I can turn the sight light on um five pin sight so you got quite a range there but um the site seems to work fine uh I personally my first thing would be just the this stabilizer take a shot here for you can so you can see So there you go. Anyhow, there you go. The Dragon X8. This is the Dragon X8 Pro. And um, if you want to check one out, I'll provide a link in the description section of this video. They're not difficult to tune. I've, I've actually, Andrew had an easy time tuning his. Mine tuned up pretty well as, as well. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.